Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look what I received. My Metabones Speed Booster. Uh, let's have a look inside. Comes in a super nice box. Wow. Okay, but for this price, I think you can kind of expect this. Um, oh. So I got a Metabone Speed Booster Nikon F mount to Micro Four Third. It's for my Panasonic GH5, as you can see in the, in the subtitles. Very nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'd keep the foot on, it might disturb me with my tripod, I have to check it later. But you have nice tools coming with it, so um, it's easily to be removed. Very nice. So I think we will mount this up soon. Currently I'm using on my Nikon lenses the Photodiax very simple um, adapter. So there's no glass in there, it's a hole. So it's a one-to-one one -one, um, adapter. And um, yeah, I guess we will try out the difference between the Metabones and the Photodiox adapter. So, so my aim for this test of the Metabones is um, when I did my research on YouTube to see um, what, what effect the Metabone has, uh, on my, my Nikon lenses. Um, it disturbed me a little bit. It, it Actually, it annoyed me a lot that people took a tripod, the camera, um, put the, the lens on, shot the video with a certain frame, like, like this frame, uh, replaced then the normal adapter with the Metabones um, and shot, shot actually the same, from the same distance. Uh, so of course, the view itself got wider and actually I mean, this is not what I want to see for my Metabones. Um, then I just buy a, a wider lens, you know. I want to see what does the Metabones adapter does when it comes to the same field of view. How does it increase um, the light and how does it increase uh, the depth of field? That was for me much more in important. This is actually what we are doing today. So I'm, I'm heading off home and then, um, yeah. See you later for the test. Bye. So what I'm trying now is um, I'm filming this plant now with a full aperture. I mean the, the lens is fully open to the max so it's not the sharpest at the moment but it's not what I want to see. So what I'm trying here is um, to keep, of course it's a manual mode, I keep um, the shutter speed at 200 and as you can see it's ISO 400 and um, it's a little bit, just slightly overexposed uh, exposed, so um, so I want to see, this is now with the meta bones so what I want to see of course if now I put the normal photodiox um, one to one adapter I want to see um, how much light it actually loses so that's an interesting um, <coughs> point for me now um, I'm still filming a little bit here, I'll take a picture first. Now I change to the filming mode. Now it's a little bit, as you can see, it's a bit under-exposed. But I still film it this way. Okay, so now I'm changing to the photo deox. So it should be now about the field of view which we had before. It's now a little bit underexposed when taking a picture. So I do this now so that we can actually compare later. Now going to the movie mode. Puff, wow, it's even more. So we have now one, two, three, four, five, six lines underexposed. So I'm just filming a couple of seconds here again so that we can compare the images okay let's analyze it now I think especially on pictures now um, the difference is significant I mean th there's much more light and more colors and here even on the videos I mean it's not so uh, the difference is not as high as with the pictures so a small resume um, when I first attached the speed booster I, I was not so delighted I must say the um, reason is probably because I attached it uh, in my very dark living room and I couldn't see such a high difference 
So, but now doing the tests and uh, comparing the pictures and the videos, I'm I'm quite impressed and um, and look very much forward to to use um, the speed booster in the theater because I'm I'm filming soon um, a small performance in the theater and, and where it's usually very dark. So I I look forward to try it out there. Yeah, I can emphasize get one. Yeah, I'm happy about it. So good luck with your metabolism.